Mike Hosking Breakfast, six to nine weekdays on News Talks FB. You know, there we could spend some time, I guess, on the ineptitude of Jan Tanetti, who may well go down as one of our most ineffective education ministers ever. The blowout in school buildings, as the PM suggested, borders on a crisis. And according to Labor, that's just the price of stuff going up, which leads you to ask, where were they setting traps? Were they deliberately setting traps for a new government, knowing they were going to lose? Or were they genuinely thinking they could win? And if they did, they would worry about paying the bills another day. But some real insight from former Minister Stuart Nash. Uh, this is the gold who, in irony of ironies, turns out to be a big government supporter in their gang crackdown. As the media set about over these last couple of days, finding every man, woman and their dog to tell us how cracking down on the gangs was a mixture of between a stunt and a gimmick and a complete waste of time, forgetting, of course, most of last year's outrage over the violence that was going on in this community, much of it perpetrated by the gangs themselves. What we got from Stuart was the proof of what Mark Mitchell had been banging on about for a year or so. The limit set on what the police could grab as a result of monies earned by nefarious means. The limit set by the previous government on assets police can grab was $30,000. Mark and the rest of us went, why? Your chop is $25,000, you keep it despite the fact you sold drugs to fund it. Why? Turns out Stewie was busy fighting for a zero target and he was being overruled by Hipkins and Adern and Kerry Allen. And in the revelation is an insight or perhaps a confirmation of what we suspected. Labour is soft on gangs, Labour let people out of prison, Labour funded an industry and cultural reports, Labour encouraged the judges to go soft and what we got was rampant crime and antisocial behaviour. So much so, it became somewhere between the number one and the number two issue in the election itself. I don't blame Stuart, he always struck me as the more sensible practical end of the Labour Party, but look at what he was dealing with. This new government has been left with the equivalent of an unexploded World War II bomb in a major built-up area, and they're looking how to defuse it and take it away. It's almost daily at the moment. The mess, the carnage, the tragedy, the abject failure and fiscal incompetence of Labour 2020 through 2023. The more we know, the more revelations there are, surely the further from power they should be kept. The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on News Talks FB.